Dune Prophecy, episode three, a sisterhood above all was what? Hey everyone, this is Digital Shark Cootery. Thanks for stopping by. My name is James. If you are enjoying Dune Prophecy, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it on this channel all the time. Really enjoying it. The first two episodes, I quite enjoyed. I was like, okay, they felt a little uneven, to be honest with you. A little bit uneven. I said, okay, I want to know where you're going. I want to have faith in you. I wasn't totally faithful in what we were getting. I was still kind of concerned that we might fall off a cliff any moment now. Episode three comes, and I, there was no cliff. I, I feel safe now. I think they found their footing on this show, or are going to. This episode kind of gave me faith that if they want to go beyond this season and tell multiple seasons of the series, which I believe is the plan, then I'm like, okay, I think you know where you're going. I think I know what you plan on, on doing. Until this point, I wasn't so sure about that. But now I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And, and this episode had a lot in it that I really enjoyed. But one thing that has been standing out since day one is the cinematography of the series. I just find it to be spectacular. I think it's a very beautiful looking TV series. I, like for TV, I'm like, this is phenomenal. Now, again, I said this last week, but I don't think it's on par with the Denis Villeneuve films. Obviously, it's not quite to that level, but it's also a show. I mean, it's an HBO show, so it's a step or two above I was being just a typical show, but it's still not at the level of Denis Villeneuve. And the budget, while high, still can't match that of a big movie theater experience, like an IMAX screen, you know, you're not going to get that. But I think they have really translated the Dune universe to TV quite well. Let me know if you guys are huge Dune fans. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Are you feeling like this is living up to, to Dune or not? And how do you feel it compares to the, the, the movies also? Like that's, you know, because this is kind of, you know, they restructured this to kind of fit into that world like into the the movie the villain of movie world which i think was a perfect thing to do i think that's what that's the strong suit right that's people are coming into dune like there's obviously look obviously dune's been around forever people are obsessed with the books and the lore and the stories but there's also the new fans like me who got into it because of the villain of movies i'm sorry to say it, but that i wasn't into it it just wasn't my thing i had the making of book when i was a kid but it was my thing so it got me into it and then i'm like oh man i'm really excited to see this series and now i'm watching it and i'm like okay i still i really enjoy the world building that we're getting here but I felt it was very uneven. Now we come to this episode, and this episode itself was a little bit uneven, but I loved, for the most part, what we got. I thought it was a very solid episode. I think, for me, this was the strongest of the, fir of the first three. This is the strongest we've gotten. We've got three to go, and hell is coming. <laughs> Well, what I believe, I think, I thought this episode might drop a giant bombshell. I mean, it did drop a giant bombshell on us. But I thought it was going to be a more explosive, for lack of a better word, episode than it was. The halfway point of these series always seems to be the one that kind of gets you. And I think this one was close to that. I think next week is going to be is going to be a completely wild episode that people who aren't quite enjoying the show or on the fence about the show, that's the episode that I think is going to pull them to the other side to say, hey, you actually like this show. Trust us. But anyway... And we're going to get into my review now. Let here are my thoughts on episode three of Sisterhood. Above all, Dune Prophecy. The flashback sequences stood out as a highlight of this episode by focusing on the young Valia and Tula played with intensity by Jessica Barton and Emma Canning. The story explores the sisters' resilience in the face of tragedy and betrayal. Their rise from hardship to pivotal roles in the sisterhood offers a deeply personal lens through which to view the larger, often impersonal, political intrigue of the Dune universe. These moments provide much-needed emotional sticks grounding the series in a way that earlier episodes failed to achieve. The themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and ambition resonate strongly here, bolstered by compelling performances from the cast. Despite its strength, though, Episode 3 also highlights ongoing issues with the show's pacing. The decision to place these flashbacks in the third episode rather than opening the series with them would lead some people to question the narrative structure. I personally don't have a problem with it, but this seems to be a trend with HBO. This placement creates a disjointed viewing experience as earlier episodes felt overburdened with exposition that could have been spread out more effectively. And part of me even thinks that maybe this backstory would have been a far more interesting story to tell in another season or a parallel sh spin-off show even in a lot of ways. There's a lot there and a lot that I find very intriguing. The six-episode format of Dune Prophecy continues to limit the depth in which the story can explore its characters and themes. While this episode provides much-needed breathing room, it also highlights how much richer the series could have been with a longer season to develop its intricate plotlines and relationships. The show's haunting and surreal aesthetic shines in this episode, 
particularly in its depiction of the sisterhood's early rituals. The eerie use of the voice and the tension within the Bene Gesserit training sessions evoke a sense of dread and power, reminiscent of the darker, mystical aspects of the Dune universe. The snowy, Harkonnen world often compared to Winterfell in Game of Thrones provides a stark and atmospheric backdrop, enhancing the sense of isolation and peril faced by the characters. Dune Prophecy Episode 3, A Sisterhood Above All, is a marked improvement over its predecessors, delivering an emotionally resonant and thematically rich story that finally taps into the potential of its source material. However, it also underscores the limitations of the series structure and pacing, leaving viewers wondering what could have been achieved with a more expansive format. While it may not fully live up to the legacy of Dune, this episode offers glimpses of the depth and complexity that fans of the universe crave, making it a standout installment in the series so far. If future episodes continue to build on this foundation, Dune Prophecy may yet establish itself as a worthy addition to the Dune franchise. And again, for me, the strongest parts of this are the cinematography I find very, very well done. I think it's, like, it's just, every time I see it, I'm like, man, this is a TV show. Like, I, I grew up, man, <laughs> in a time when this was not like TV. I know it's not the most beautiful looking TV show of all time, but it is very, very nice looking TV show. But the acting as well, especially of the leads, the leads bring it every single week. Every time someone has a lot of meat to, to spew onto the screen, they bring it, they deliver it. And I absolutely love that. I think they're doing a phenomenal job with that. And again, the way you compare this to the villain of films, things like the way, it, not compare, sorry, the way it kind of like bleeds into them, I'm on board. I feel like I'm watching something that takes place in the same universe. It's not all perfect and I do feel like you know the the overburden of giving us the backstory early on like trying to give us all this setup there's all this exposition it's kind of out of the way now so we can move on but all that exposition for me was very very intriguing and I wish we got a little bit more of that and I hope we get a little bit more of that and I still think the stuff that we got in those first few episodes where they gave us the backstory on things I think that that might even be like a really good idea. If this show is successful, that could be your spin-off show. Give us that story. Tell us a little bit more of that. But I absolutely love the twist in this episode at the very end when you see the Bene Gesserit are dealing with AI and they're working with the band format of artificial intelligence and what this could mean, the implications this has on them, on the Imperium, and of the Dune universe as a whole. Like what is going on there? I love the way that they did it, how... how Tula is trying to keep Lila alive. I love that she's using AI to do this. And, and I think based on spoilers, if you haven't seen the Weeks Ahead uh, trailer, I think based on that, she's going to succeed in this. And we're going to have something deep and dark. And AI is going to be a huge part, unbeknownst, even in like the villain of movies we're going to get going into in forward from there. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to do that, how they're going to, how they're going to sprinkle it in, and how are they going to keep the other characters in the dark of this? I'm starting to think Desmond Hart has an idea. Desmond Hart might know what's going on, and this could be why he's out to get them. He has some kind of alliance with somebody who understands what's going on in the sisterhood, and he's going to get there. But I also love, you know, the introduction of the voice, how they're using the voice. And, and I just thought that was fascinating as someone, again, who, like, came into Dune late and is catching up, if you will, on all things Dune. I just love the way they're doing it, and for me, it's very entertaining. And I'm learning more. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to read the books that these things are all based off of eventually, as I have time and time catches up to me. But for now, I'm really enjoying what we're getting, and I find each episode is kind of an improvement on the last. In the next three episodes, I have full faith in what they're, we're going to get, and I hope that they deliver, and I hope they land on their feet, and I hope we have a solid ending that kind of gives you a hint of a season two. Not a, not a hey, you have to wait for season two for the answers, but it ends, and then it gives you a hint. That is what I am hoping. But once again, I want to know what you guys thought of this episode and the series as a whole in the comments down below below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.